So you see the symbol on the top, the low high beam uh, is defective, it's not working. Let's look at it and see how to fix it. So you can see the front passenger is working and the front driver is not working. We are going to replace that right now. Okay guys, to do search, all you need is a flat screwdriver or actually a little pin. I will show you why. A Torx bit. Not sure if we can see that. This is a T30, T30. And T30, you'll use it and remove one, two, second one is underneath. Show you to ac uh, how to access that. You have a, four, a third one here, and the fourth one is right here. Remove those four, disconnect. Okay, just as is, you just wiggle it and pull it out. You have a little tab that you need to move up. Just disconnect that, and now we're going to remove the those ones with the t talks Just a hint, you have to remove those two pins. Use a flat screwdriver, you just slightly press in the little knob in the middle. It goes very easy, so be gentle. If not, it will pop on your side and you will lose it. And then you just pry that. I'll show you how it looks like. It will go. If you press too hard, that little pin will literally get off on the other side and you lose it inside. So just don't press too hard. Actually, you can take them apart to reassemble that. I will show you, but it's pretty easy. You see that one popped out, but as long as it's out, it's better than in. And then you can lift that flap and it will actually very gently it will just pop off and you can literally lift it the fourth one is right here so you don't have to lift it completely just enough to have access And then screw it, don't lose it. Now that's two out of four. Let's remove the further back one. I showed you where they were. And now you should be able to slide the entire module. Wiggle it a little bit and go you can slide the entire module okay so now from the rear access you see you have the little bar here just pop it up there we go and then you can remove that flap here that's two notches on the bottom you can remove that part to the other side and then let's try to get a already took it out but you see you have the connector the connector right here that is connected to the bulb but you also have to be able to take it out you have a plastic very okay you see but that one basically you need, you need to twist it and remove the light bulb. So let's assemble the other one. So I got the old one out, bought a replacement. You will find that AutoZone, Orai and such, OEM, 129.99 plus tax, 130 bucks plus tax. I went online, looked for the same one, Philips, and that's a D3S. Yes. They have tons of numbers. It's kind of confusing to order. But this 
I got that one for 13 dollars and it came in three days so it's worth trying all I care is that to turn on okay I'm gonna clip it back insert it turn the notch and then we'll reassemble the other way so just a hint uh, in case of you forgot during this assembly the connector is facing down that's how you want to insert your light bulb and then move that little plastic latch rotating clockwise it's on the left side just press with your thumb connect it and it's all good all you need to do is put back that connector right there and put the back cover back and then reattach those four, four crews and my apologies for the confusion that back one doesn't need to be unscrewed it's not part of the module you just have that bottom one the top one right here and the one that is underneath that flap right here just want to show you once you put back the four screws just want to show you how it is underneath those clips those little tabs just make sure it's properly aligned gently press on it and it just clip clips back very easily and then take that apart just take the top part reinsert it just a slack and like that and then take that little pin gently press it inside just flush and there we go and do the same with the second one that goes here reinsert that little pin here gently up flush your little snap and it's all good it's ready to go just need to test it and it should be good to go and then take the old one and throw that away hope you like it guys if you got any comments or any questions about it please let me know thank you we started the car it's actually super bright that's a d3s philips you have tons of different numbers you don't know if it's an exact match or not but it is definitely working for 13 dollars not even on ebay instead of paying over 130 dollars in a store Hope you guys enjoy.